Hello everybody, this is Dan T from Twisted Banana Productions, and we're going to review 10 different kinds of Cheez-Its. This is going to be a very exciting video. Zoom in on my face one more time and shake the camera. That's what I'm talking about. First up, Cheez-It Original. I think I'm going to need some water for this video. You know when your mouth is dry, they just stick to your mouth? Here is the Cheez-It that started it all. The original. It's salty, crunchy, it's cheesy, crunchy, salty, and crunchy. It's wonderful, and uh... It's salty, crunchy, it's cheesy, crunchy. Eat too many, they start to kind of fill your mouth with a weird aftertaste, but you know what? It's a classic, and it's great. Salty, crunchy, cheesy. Number two, white cheddar. They're much lighter. They have this interesting texture to them. These are probably one of the more tastier versions of Cheez-Its. They're just really nice. They're a lot more potent than normal Cheez-Its. They're a lot cheesier than the original, and they don't have that same aftertaste. It's a much lighter color than the regular Cheez-Its. It tastes about the same. It's the same shape and everything. Um, I did notice that it does leave those white flakes on your hands, so you may need a napkin to eat these with. I think these are pretty popular, at least in offices or wherever you might find them. You know, little 100 calorie packs, I eat those a lot. Next up, we have Cheese It Duos, bacon and cheddar. I mean, cheese is kind of a given, right? I mean, bacon and cheddar at the same time. Seriously, I'm going to have to wash my hands after this video. They taste like a regular Cheez-It, only they have that bacon taste, that, like a bacon bit, like right when you bite into it. You could probably get the same result by eating a Cheez-It and a little bacon bit at the same time. Not great and a little too samey, but, you know, that bacon flavor is definitely in there. Next, we have Cheddar Jack. Cheddar Jack is like that weird cheese that looks like a cow pooped it out or something. Hmm. When you start eating it, it doesn't taste like anything. And as you chew it, the flavor kind of comes out of it. Ultimately, it's kind of pointless. I don't really like Cheddar Jack in real life. I don't know. There's not much to say here. It tastes okay. Pretty cheesy. Still crunchy. Still works. If you want another flavor palette for your Cheez-It. Salty, crunchy, cheesy. It's too similar to the white cheddar in my opinion. Kind of has the same cheesy flavor. I don't know. I think you could go pretty well with either one and not really notice the difference. Next, we have Cheez-It Buffalo Wings. I couldn't find the extra hot, so these are going to have to do. As soon as you eat it, the buffalo wing taste just hits your tongue right in the front, just like a buffalo wing. And it stays with you a little bit. I guess if you ate a bunch of these, they would get really hot, but it's not too bad. I never understand in the box, it always says made with 100% real cheese. It has to go through a crazy process to even get into a chip form, you know what I mean? It's weird. I don't know, not really into the hot flavors, and I, the heat's kind of still lingering in my mouth. I guess if you have a real hankering for buffalo wings, these are good. You want a little bit of that spicy hotness in your mouth, but otherwise, that's not too bad. But I could probably go with a lot better flavors. Next is Cheez-It Extra Big. I mean, this is what you ordered. I mean, they're just bigger versions of Cheez-Its. Here is your regular Cheez-It, and here is your extra big Cheez-It. I actually think that th this is actually has more air in it and a lot less cheesy flavor, so you might want to go with the, just the regulars. Plus, you know, these take up more space in a box. You know, they can cram more of these in there than they can of these. Get your money's worth out of it. Next, we have a very interesting kind of Cheez-It called Grooves. They have different flavors of this, but I got the Zesty Cheddar Ranch. Let's check these out and... Uh... Right, I like these so much I ate them all before the show. So, sorry, I don't have any more left. Sorry about that. Now we have a type of cheese that called Snapped. It comes in a bag instead of a box. Cheesy, thin, and crispy. This is sour cream and onion, and of course, cheddar. It's like someone tried to flatten a cheese it with a hammer. Let's see how this goes. Um. Hmm. Salty, crunchy, cheesy. Yeah, it's still leaving some residue on my hands again. I'm not blown away by these, but you know, I kind of like them. They're okay. They're different. They're like a diamond shaped cheese. It. They're not bad. You know, the more you eat, the worse they get. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if I'd recommend these. Salty, crunchy, cheesy. Next we have Cheez-It Puffed. It's like Cheez-It's answer to the uh, Cheetos Puff. 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's adorable. It's like a little, little poofy little cheese it thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Great. It's um, uh, oh. Ew. Ah, oh, I think I'm, you'd be better off eating the Cheetos puff. Ugh. Ah, yeah. Ugh. 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 Salty, crunchy, cheesy. Now we have the most requested cheese it flavor. This is extra toasty. I have not opened this yet. You know when you eat a normal bag of Cheez-Its and it's like, like some of them look like they were burnt, like they went too far, or they didn't bake them properly and they kind of burnt them in the oven? Every single one in the box looks like that. These are terrible. I mean, this is the most requested flavor. This is the most requested Cheez-It flavor. Why? I mean, people want their Cheez-Its burnt and horrible and not cheesy. And this is why we can't have nice things. This is why the world is going to hell in a handbasket. It's like they took all their failed experiments and threw it in one box. It's terrible. Why would you do this to yourself? And why do people want this? Why do you... You probably requested it. Why do you want this? Why does anyone want this? It... You got rid of the cheesy and salty taste and the only thing left is a bland crunch. Why would anyone eat those? I mean, I mean, they might be good for something like cheese at ASMR or something. Salty, crunchy, cheesy. Anyway, that's my cheese at taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to try any of these yourself. This video is not sponsored by Cheese It. I literally went to the market, I bought all these, and some of them are really great. Obviously, I recommend the grooves most. But the snapped isn't bad either, and there's a million flavors of these, so you can try the different ones. Those are pretty good. And yeah, just go with the original or maybe the white cheddar. Other than that, it's just the rest of them are kind of a waste of your time. So, especially if you voted for this extra toasty crap, you should feel bad about yourselves. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. This is Dan T from Twisted Banana Productions signing off to go buy some more of these grooves because these are outstanding. Salty, crunchy, cheesy.